I've got my Bullet Roadster here. It hasn't been driven in a while. It's been at least a few months since I've driven it for a, the very first video that I revealed for this car. And there is a really good reason for that. Other than the oil leak and the vacuum leaks, things that I need to fix that are important, the car physically doesn't drive well. I may have mentioned it already in a previous video, but to give you an example of what needs to be fixed, the car suffers from jolting or shunting at low speeds. So you could be in first gear taking off and the car would start jerking back and forth, or you could be in second gear driving through the shopping center and your car's just jerking for no reason, rocking the car back and forth and you kind of look like an idiot. But more so, I think it's putting a lot of stress on drivetrain mounts, engine mounts, the whole thing's bloody rocking. So I really want to fix that before I start driving this car anymore. And I'm going to achieve that or at least try to by using an additional diff, a spare diff that came with the car. And this is apparently supposed to be the original diff that was on the car. So someone's gone and changed the diff previously. I believe it's got something to do with the ratios and that could possibly be causing the car not to drive properly. So I'm going to go and clean up the old diff, see if we can fix this issue. Then we can tackle some of the other stuff in later videos. But this is the main one. I want to take this car to a car show. It just sits here and it's very, very annoying. So let's get into that now. I've recently purchased a scissor lift for my garage, which is a huge game changer. However, extremely unnecessary. You don't need one, but after having a few near misses with hydraulic jacks and stands, I've decided to buy one of these and it definitely beats crawling around on concrete. Seeing this on the lift for the first time, it looks like I'm going to have to remove the exhaust. So this is in the way to get the diff out. And otherwise, once the drive shafts are out, um, the tail shaft, I don't really see anything else that's in my way. It should just drop down. This diff looks like it's in good condition, but I can't say the same for the other one. So once I clean it up, I'll know for sure. But this exhaust has definitely taken a beating. The car does smell really bad. So whether that's coming from a vacuum leak or whether that's coming from you know, the exhaust, I'm not exactly sure. The next step is to get out this old diff that's been sitting in this box covered in gunk and oil and really clean it up before we do anything with it. So it seems that the bullet is the gift that keeps on giving because whilst I was sorting out the diff, I actually noticed my coolant's leaking and this would be the recent job that I've done. It looks like it's coming from the top of the radiator and I'm really hoping it's just a hose clamp that's not doing its job properly. My hope is that this clamp here is overstretched. Maybe it's at its last um, threads and it's not as effective, it's not tightening as much. I'm gonna pull it out and see if I can replace it. A 
I've taken this chrome cover off so I can really see if it's gonna seal or not. The radiator is proper bent. It's no longer circular. It's weak already. It's not sealing properly. And I think what that means is I might need to get a new radiator much sooner than what I expected, which is not a bad thing. It just means more work. Instead, I'll just start working on the diff. And before I put it in the car, I like to just do it once, do it right, maybe give it a fresh coat of paint. And possibly, depending on how bad the oil is, if I find any debris in there, then I'm gonna pull the, the case off and just give it a proper look. Honestly, I would say that I hate coolant the most. It makes such a mess. Nothing else makes this much mess that I've dealt with so far. I've actually become very indecisive when it comes to making decisions about this car because although I wanted to put the diff in completely finished, painted, you know, nothing more left to do, for the life of me, I can't actually find, you know, the diff ratios between this current diff that's on the car now to the one that I've just taken the oil out of. And because I can't find the ratios, how would I know if it's the exact same diff, it's just a spare one? I can't seem to find anything wrong with the diff that's there, you know, oil's black, but there's no metal particles in the oil. Um, and although it's running out quite slowly, it's freezing here. And normally you change the oil after you've just driven the car, which I can't do with that diff. Do I just throw it back in and, and test it out first? That means I have to put all the bolts in, I have to torque them up, I have to, you know, put all, every bolt has to have thread glue on it and all that. And then I have to take it out again when I want to spray paint the diff once I confirm it's ready. These sort of decisions tend to be a big blocker for me because I want to do this perfectly. I want this to be completely done correctly. And then what ends up happening is I do nothing for days or weeks because I can't make the decision. I'm thinking for the sake of not spending money and time on a diff that I can't use, maybe it makes sense to take this old diff out, put the other one in. Obviously, I still have to get my radiator sorted before I can even test it. Get my radiator sorted, then drive the car. If all goes well, because I might have to spray paint a few things here and there, I just take the diff out again and get it done professionally or spray paint it myself. That's what I'm thinking. It's interesting because a lot of people watching are probably thinking it's a no brainer. It's a pretty quick decision to make. But for me, I just can't, can't really work out what is the best use of my time. So I think right now I'll just decide on, let's test the diff, get this radiator sorted, drive the car. If that fixes our problem, we assume that the ratios in the old diff were correct and the ratios in this new diff are not correct and I can off sell that, get rid of it. I'm gonna waste no more time and do something about this car. So you don't miss the next episode of this project, make sure you hit subscribe and hit that notification bell.